centuries before the inventions of modern laboratories, the ancient Egyptians were already trailblazing in the world of medical diagnostics. Around 1350 BCE, Egyptian women utilized a unique method to determine pregnancy, they would urinate on barley and wheat seeds, then observe which seeds sprouted. If barley sprouted, it was believed the child would be a boy, if wheat sprouted, a girl. If neither sprouted, the woman was not pregnant. Remarkably, modern scientific studies have shown that this test was accurate about 70% of the time, because hormonal changes actually can speed up seed germination. In a bustling village along the Nile, a healer named Casey became renowned for her use of this method. People would journey from nearby settlements to seek her wisdom, and she carefully monitored the seeds, recording the results in papyrus scrolls. Casey's role was vital, as her predictions helped families prepare for new arrivals and eased anxieties of expectant mothers. Her skills were passed down through generations, creating a lineage of knowledgeable women respected by their communities. Casey's reputation grew beyond her village, and she was summoned to the court of Pharaoh Hatshepsut, one of the few female rulers of Egypt. Hatshepsut, curious about the well-being of her own subjects, asked Casey to train palace healers in the barley and wheat technique. This sharing of knowledge allowed the practice to spread throughout Egypt, making it a fundamental aspect of women's health for centuries to come. While much of ancient Egyptian history is remembered through grand monuments and tales of pharaohs, the quiet, scientific innovations of women like Casey often go untold. These early pregnancy tests symbolize the ingenuity and sophistication of African civilizations long before the advent of modern science, highlighting the pivotal roles black women played in the advancement of knowledge and community well-being.